going on guys, it's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, we got a hot and spicy one to serve up. So last night I took to Twitter and sent out a tweet saying, please send me pics of your Keyblades, homemade, unofficial, or official. Don't send me pics if you're afraid of getting roasted because I'm ready to go in. I've put up with years of Lego Blade memes thanks to the homeboy Skyward Wing. Now, as a little bit of context, uh, I'm gonna bring up the meme. Oh, Jared, is that, is that flat? Is, that, is, it, is flat? it flat? Is it flat? Is it flat? Like, rotate a little bit. It better not be flat. Hey, Jared, 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 don't, Jared, don't let, don't, oh, Jared. What have you done? Jared, oh, take it out of the bag. Jared, I really, BS1. Jared, I, Jared, I don't want to feel bad. We gotta take three steps back. How fucking nerdy are we that we're judging a man on how he buys his fantasy video game You're weapons? You're gonna like, flat key, man. Something, I mean. Now, hope you didn't turn it to the side, off. turn it to, oh, Jared. That's a Lego! That's a Lego! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you roasting him on his new Keyblade, though? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Edition. No, <laughs> stream after stream, that Keyblade has been getting absolutely roasted over the years. But at this point in time, uh, the Keyblade has been sacrificed. That happened quite some time ago. I, I had to put the meme behind me. It had to be burnt. It had to be sacrificed, sent to a better place. But I thought this would be really fun to rate people's Keyblades. Again though, I, I said that in the tweet, I will be roasting Keyblades if they are of that level. I I'm so ready, dude. I'm so fucking ready, let's do this. Now a lot of these Keyblades I haven't seen, some I have, and we're essentially just gonna be flicking through them. Uh, thank you to everyone who uh, got involved with this over on Twitter. You guys are legends. All right, so the first one we have right here is from Sora 3.0. Uh, this this is great. Now, the number one thing that I look out for when it comes to a good Keyblade, official or unofficial, you better hope that the dimensions are correct on an official Keyblade. There ain't many these days, though, so most people tend to have uh, unofficial Keyblades, meaning that it's made by a third-party company. Uh, this one is... I, don't think it is official. I'm actually not too sure. I haven't really been keeping up with the whole merch scene. But this is great right here. It's definitely foam. It's definitely rubber. A lot of the Keyblades are. The dimensions are absolutely on point. Look at the thickness of that big boy. Next up, we have the uh, the Oathkeeper and... Uh, what, what What is that? What, what is that? Is, is my Kingdom Hearts knowledge failing me? Or, or is that just a, a badly made Oblivion? I'm, I'm liking the Oathkeeper. I have actually seen that one around. That's n not too bad. But w what what is that? That that's definitely not meant to be th the. Uh, what is that? See, so yeah, I literally just searched this up on Google Images. I just put in black Keyblade because I, for the life of me, couldn't identify it. This is apparently meant to be the Oblivion. I, I want to know what fucking company put this together. You've you've done goofed it. Th what? This is my homeboy Nerdy who's been making it to my streams for a very long time. It is actually a cool looking Keyblade nonetheless, I'll, I'll give you that. But it ain't no Oblivion, brother. Okay, so these ones are from Greystar, um... Okay, we're back to the thick boy with the, the correct dimensions. Alright. And, uh, ooh, Lionhead. Although it's not completely accurate, um, I believe this one and the very first one over here actually homemade. For the homemade side of things, um, I'm gonna have to say, like, I, the Kingdom Key here, it's looking a bit, it's looking a bit sad. But, but this, this lion head, I'm, I'm kind of digging. I'm, I'm liking the full-on black version of it. Very nice. This right here is from my dude, Sai. Uh, this is a fully upgraded Starlight. It would be very hard to get everything one-to-one, -one, but th this is extremely close. And I have to say, beautiful. Like, that is so fucking beautiful. Especially the fully upgraded version right here. I just, I just want to lick it. Good God almighty, the detailing stuff. Honestly, that is actually, like, pretty one-to-one. -one. So these are from my dude, KH Waterblock. He's uh, got the Smile Gear, Happy Gear, cannot remember, uh, the Ever After, as well as the Harrow's Origin. We also have the Arrow Guns down here as well. The amount of detailing that is specifically gone into the uh, the Smile Gear is insane. Happy Gear, I'm gonna get this fucking wrong. Too many Keyblade names to keep up with. But yeah, the Monsters Inc. one right here is absolutely beautiful. I mean, same goes for the rest of them, dude. Clap, clap for that. Oh, and I also, um, 
actually didn't even realize the gazing eye keyblade is also here too looking very nice uh, this this is from sarah now I, i've already fucking seen this one and, and i said to her you've just supplied me with some ammo <laughs> Oh, Sarah, fuck. <laughs> that is a Keyblade literally waking up with a fucking hangover. My god, Kingdom Key, has the darkness gotten to you? There's actually a sweet story behind this. Sarah actually mentioned I made this abomination for my fiance about nine years ago. Please enjoy it. So, like, the story behind it is actually kind of heartwarming. This actually does, though, take me back to the time where I was a kid and I just desperately wanted a Keyblade. So, I, I got this, like, thin slat of wood. Would have been, like, that type of thing that thin sort of thing as like the neck of the keyblade i then cut out cardboard for like the hilt didn't worry about like the bulges around the side now fuck fuck accuracy man i also did the same for the teeth of the keyblade trying to cut out like the crown as well keeping in mind again this is cardboard and and the chain i had like this lego chain or whatever and i just fucking sellotaped that on to the end of the hilt and then, and then made a again cardboard cutout of the mickey mouse emblem to put on the end of the chain i thought i was literally fucking badass dude i still wish i had that keyblade but because it was cardboard it eventually just essentially disintegrated it combusted on itself but yeah i, I used to run around the backyard pretending to fight imaginary heartless why am i explaining this i am absolutely fucking embarrassing myself as of right now <laughs> so gaming victory has posted uh, two lots of keyblades you got the oblivion oath keeper as well as the king donkey that's uh oblivion right there i actually do have talk shit get hit. But yeah, no, I have that exact Oblivion. It is very nice. It's it's one of those wobbly boys, though, because it's completely... Haha! <laughs> Memes will be made. But yeah, it's made out of, like, rubber. It would still actually hurt if you were to, like, swipe down on someone with this. The only thing is, though, mine doesn't have a chain. However, though, looking at these fucking chains, I'm sorry, Game and Victory, but, um... If Sora was running around with a keyblade with a chain that long, the boy would end up entangling himself. Then, if we switch on over to Hair, uh, we've got the Kingdom Key D, and then obviously Aqua, Ventus, and Terrace Keyblade. I've always seen that Wayward Wind one, and I I've always wanted it, even though, again, like, the one thing that I always look out for is the correct dimensions. One thing that third-party uh, companies just don't seem to get right with keyblades is the width of the actual blade itself. For, for some reason, they think that the width of the Keyblade should be the same width as a fucking dinner plate. Uh, but they still look really, really good. Uh, these chains look a little bit more accurate in the sense of the length, though. Looking at that Kingdom Key D, that shit's long. I will have to say the Kingdom Key D is looking nice, but the only thing is the width. I, I keep going on about the gat dang width, but the width of them teeth looking a tiny bit underfed. This is where I can start unleashing and unloading years worth of Lego Blade memes because mine essentially looks like a... Uh, a Kingdom Key from Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Seriously, has a picture of a Kingdom Key from 358 over two days. No, I literally had a Keyblade that was that fucking thin. Here is Maku's Keyblades right here. We have the uh, Conductor's Keyblades, but this time it is the Oblivion and Oath Keeper. I know this doesn't really technically count per se, but I did actually have to include this. I actually do have the Kingdom Key version of the Conductor's Keyblade. These were released throughout 2019 for the World of Trace. Uh, orchestra shows and then Maku also has the Kingdom Key D which yes I'm now finding out is official hence the reason the dimensions are all on point look at the thickness of the teeth word to the wise for any third-party companies out there that are making these keyblades that's the thickness you want and also that chain on point not too long not too short just right this right here is Adagi's uh, shooting star keyblade that looks amazing that actually high key looks fucking amazing. In fact, I actually think that I saw this Keyblade when I went to E3 back in 2018 and my boy Dean uh, ended up picking up a Shooting Star Keyblade. Pretty sure it's the exact same one and I remember also being very amazed by that one due to the fact that it wasn't official, but somehow this third party company managed to get all the dimensions correct. Even though at the time Kingdom Hearts 3 wasn't actually out, uh, they really did get all of the dimensions correct. That looks fantastic. Although actually no, uh, this looks like it's at the Kingdom Hearts 3 booth somewhere and that might be one of the Keyblades they actually give you to hold. So that's why I might be slightly freaking out over this because that is actually officially made, I think. Not too sure. This right here is Spade 13's Kingdom Key. Th these ones, these ones, I'm sorry Spade, I'm about to go in. The hilt is underfed, the teeth underfed, chain too long. And, and why is it that the teeth a positioned not right at the end of the keyblade. We got like a little pokey part like right there at the end just in case you get something stuck in your teeth. Abyss, what's going on my dude? This is him unlocking his door with the... 
<laughs> even my chair's laughing. Oh, I'm sorry, if there's I'm j the, the the hilt, but not even that. Like, are you holding it straight because that hilt is on an angle while the fucking neck of the keyblade is straight? <laughs> I feel absolutely disgusting that I'm currently roasting my audience. Please know that I love you guys. Now uh, this is uh, Mr. Boogers. That's just the key to the fucking dungeon, dude. So this one right here is from Baby Yoda. Uh, she actually said this cost five dollars to make. I needed it for a fast shoot. Very thin foam after this photo was taken, the wind came and snapped it in half. <laughs> it did its job, still beautiful. Um, hey, like, look, you got the photo out. Oh, that is one mighty fucking huge keyblade. Good god almighty goose on a moose. She was saying it's, it's thin foam. That's the thickest thick boy I think I've ever fucking seen when it comes to a key. Hey, hey, at least it still served its purpose. This one right here is from Pyfort. This is their um, uh, pumpkin hint. Keyblade, they said right here, me and a friend were sparring and I bent it. <sighs> I'm sorry, dude, the whole keyblade's wrong. It, 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 the whole, the whole fucking, it, it's just... There, there is a lot of keyblades out there that desperately need some nutrition. This is a movement I'm, I'm seriously starting to consider to, to actually make. Start feeding your fucking keyblades. They all look underfed. Was well, so the hilt? There, there is a lot wrong with this, this damn hilt here, dude. It's unfortunate about the, uh, the teeth. You were sparring with the mate and. The teeth of the Keyblade, man. Imagine if that was actually happening a lot in Kingdom Hearts. Good God Almighty, with the teeth of the Keyblades just like out the side sort of shit. What I will have to say though is I'm jealous that you are sparring with Keyblades with a friend because none of my friends will do that. And they're like, you, you, you're too deep into this game, bro. And I'm like, no, no, let me live out my fantasy vision, bro. They, they don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand. Take me back to when I was like seven years old. God dang it. Uh, this is Michaela's right hand made with a razor putty. Didn't last long, Ruffle. <laughs> God damn, it's like Kingdom Hearts actually took like the literal moon took a shit and this is this is the result. This right here is a 3D modeled Star Seeker though and that is actually really impressive for a, a 3D um, printout. Very nice. I like the sort of bluey sparkle type of thing that's going on there. Very nice, Michaela. All right, here's Edo Ninja, just just full on with the <laughs> the fucking propliga dude. He's got the special effects. My man, my man, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. Yes, big approve, big approve. Hey, 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 hey. So this right here is from my uh, my dude Ben. Um, this is his own Keyblade, and I gotta say, kudos to you, man. That is actually raw looking. I like how the um. Like for the hilt, it kind of like swishes down. You got a, like a big spike there. Also, the purple theme, uh, beautiful. I think we need more purple keyblades. We don't really actually have too many throughout the game. The only one that I'm really thinking of as of right now is the uh, Kingdom Key W, I believe, or so Star Cluster or something. You know, Mickey's new one in Kingdom Hearts 3. That's a beautiful looking keyblade, man. So, actually, big approval to this. Uh, especially kudos to you for making your own custom one. Here we have a, a literal Lego blade like an actual like no memes included a literal Lego blade uh, made from the dude uh, came Agona sorry for the butchering dude probably did it but you know what you know kudos to you and oh dude the Lego chain that I was talking about before that that I used for my homemade one when I was like seven that is it right there that's what I sell it taped to the end of it hey no kudos for actually making a keyblade out of Lego pieces that's that's so cool this right here is made by Adrian a 3d literally a 3d printed keyblade distress uh, kudos points y your keyblade the dimensions all very fantastic though I I'm pretty sure this is an official one as well but uh, more so what I'm very impressed by is the anime lens flare right there in the eye. Uh, big points for that. This is from Dylan Gordy, his oversized khaki. <laughs> yes, that right there is uh, Riku's Braveheart. And looking at this, I don't think they've officially made a Braveheart keyblade. So th this must be third party. But holy shit, the dimensions are actually just spot on, dude. This right here is from Wolf Spain, another custom made keyblade. And this one is actually dropping my fucking nuts as of right now. Holy shit. My god, this was actually designed by Nij who um, actually has done some art for me. The uh, current avatar art that's on the channel banner is done by her. So shout out to Nige for your insane creativity. 
That is beautiful, though. Th that is, and, and oh my god, look at the keychain for it. It's like the heartless emblem infused with what looks to be the unversed. I want to fornicate with that. I mean, this man, Timothy Small, I, d I don't think he's so small, dude. Not not with uh, being equipped with the fucking literal keyblade. Okay, no, so th this, this, that, what? My guy, my guy, wh where's the hookups? Wh where do we get one of these thick boys from? Holy shit, that is impressive. There's no way that Square have made an official one of these at this point. No, if they do, I imagine they'll end up charging like 12 fucking hundred for it. Holy balls to the walls, man. That is just jaw-dropping. I mean, again, dimensions, I feel like that's the keyword of this uh, this video. Take a shot every single time, fellas. But no, seriously, dude, you, you've got me blown away, man. Uh, Skulls says my husband made this uh, advanced garbage keyblade for Valentine's Day last year. It's even got, um, it's even got stats like minus 10 strength. Strength, but plus 10 magic. Um. Uh. Um. Contain yourself. This right here is from Luixia. The Destiny's Embrace obviously carries Keyblade. Um. Ooh. Juicy, juicy. You can actually, like, smell the pollen resonating off those flowers. No shit. Ha! He. <laughs> Naturally, Jass even went the extra mile of uh, chucking in some uh, battle quotes he into the whole thing to a hey. Q limp. See, this right here, dude, is uh, that's a spot on pumpkin head keyblade. Uh, the hilt's on point. The teeth, I can also just see the shoulders kind of in the way there, my guy. But that that looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't think this is actually Pale's original image or anything. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking done. I, mean, I, I was saying like feed feed your uh, feed your keyblades with nutrients, but th th that's just fucking straight roids at this point, dude. It's like Lexius is like hammer weapon, and and the Kingdom Key had a fucking child. All right, guys, that is going to conclude this video. I had an absolute blast going through you guys' keyblades. Some were absolutely amazing. Some were definitely questionable. Hey, at some point, I would actually like to do a follow up video to this, so uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter and look out for the tweet eventually where I say. Hey, round two, semi keyblade. Thanks so much to everyone that got involved in this video. Again, I love you guys so much, and if you were one of the lucky people who ended up getting roasted, I apologize. <laughs> now, guys, hopefully, you dudes enjoyed the video. I'm cynical, and I'll catch you dudes in the next one. Peace. Hit them on a page, you'll be coming through stains. Go there, my mouth, when you suckers be bluffing. Look, crank, gaming up the bitch, though. Catch me in the back, playing Super Nintendo.